This morning, police are walking us through exactly what happened happened after a car with, you know, five seats where it was carrying 10 people and that car ended up rolling over and woke it. Pinpoint News Tracker takes us to where this actually happened over the weekend and woke it. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Olivia Schuler joins us now this morning. Olivia, so help us understand how this happened and how dangerous this was. Wendell, good morning. It was a small Ford Focus that just had five seats but had 10 people inside the car. Investigators tell us this morning that they believe the two women that were sitting in the front seat of the car are the moms of the eight remaining kids that were crammed inside of it. Now, clearly not everyone in that car was wearing a seatbelt. The kids age and age two to 16 years old. There were two car seats installed in the back, but it's not clear how the six other kids fit back there. This morning, a 10-year-old is in the hospital with serious injuries. Police believe he was not buckled. They say he was ejected. It ended up underneath the car. It rained heavily that morning, which Walcott Police Chief Edward Stevens says created a cushion for him in the mud. The child is in the ICU and is improving. He recently just opened his eyes. Had it been on asphalt or something like that, it would have been a different story. Now, we are working to determine who in that car the 10-year-old child was related to. Investigators tell us that the two women in that car, the moms, they could face some charges. We're working to get that information and find that out. Now, it is important to note that the speed limit and where the car flipped over was just 35 miles per hour. Investigators are now looking at those skid marks that were left behind. We're live this morning in Wolcott, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.